Hi everyone, welcome to LTS Files schematic video. We have already done LTS Files simulation by writing netlist of various circuits. And in this uh, tutorial uh, or series of tutorial, I will show you how to create a netlist and do simulation on this netlist using LTS Files. So in order to create netlist, first go to File and New Schematic and you can see that you can also have it from here directly. So click on this. When I say click, it means left click. So this window pops up. Your screen, your background color will be might be different. So you can set the color from here. Let me also show you this. Color, go to tools, color preferences, click, left click, and this is the this is for a schematic. So from here you can select color of various things. For example, if I want to change the background color, if I want to say default colors. So I can click here and press OK. So this is why your window may, may look like because we have installed it for the first time. And if you want to set it to some different color, you can always do that. Go to color preferences, select background color and say it is uh, all white. So I will set RGB to its maximum value and press apply and ok so you can see it and then you can press ctrl g ctrl and g simultaneously to show up the grid or you can choose not to so press ctrl g again it will be away press ctrl g to show the grid ctrl g for toggling the grid ok so let's make the first uh, tutorial that we did for the net is that was voltage divider in order to select the various components, you can see here this is for wire, this is ground, this is for leveling net. I will tell you about this in a moment. Then resistor, capacitor, inductor, diode, and there are many other components. In fact, all of these are located here. So you can see various kind of component here, current source, diode, and all these things, you know, voltage control, voltage source. And then there are many other components like op amps. All these op amps are available for our linear technology. And generic spice symbols are here. For, for example, universal op amp and so on. We will come to this later on. At this moment, let's try to make a voltage divider circuit. So I will click here. I will left click. So this symbol will appear and then click OK. Or you can directly double click it to come here. Press escape to come out of this or reject this change. Again, go to and just double click here, and you will see that your voltage source is here on the schematic. So, you just uh, uh, hover your mouse anywhere on this window so it, it will be going along with you and see what happens when I press Ctrl R while it is active. When it is not highlighted, when it is, I am calling it the sources or elements in this mode as highlighted. So when this is highlighted, press Ctrl R a couple of times. You can see that it is rotating. Ctrl plus R. So I press Ctrl and then R. So it's rotating by 90 degrees. And if I press Ctrl E, see what happens. Ctrl E, E for egg. So Ctrl E for flipping vertically, and Ctrl R is for rotating. So Ctrl E. And then left click. So this component will be placed on. The schematic window and press escape button to come out of this mode so this is where we are able to place a voltage and then you can grab resistor from here or you can again go to here and press r e s for resistor and press ok and press ok and press ctrl r a couple of times and then keep it here by left clicking and then press ctrl r again to make it like this and uh, let's uh, left click, press escape. This is what the voltage divider is. Take, take this ground here. Do not forget ground. Ground is mandatory. If, if there is no ground in your circuit, it will give an error. So there must be a common node or ground. Okay, so oh sorry, I forgot to talk about wiring. Press F9 